Do you, uh, you still need more time? No, no, we're through here. I'm very sorry to cut in line with your lawyer. Is everything okay? No, everything is not okay. Not only <clears throat> was Nell allowed to walk scot-free, but she fully intends to sue for custody of Wiley. No, that's insane. Yes, and it's also happening. All right. Well, um, you clearly need her more than I do right now. If you need someone to be a witness on stand, I was a cellmate. No, I know she's a crazy bitch. Okay, I will bear that in mind. Thank you. But you and I are clear on what needs to be done going forward, yes? I will try to do my best. As your lawyer, whose primary objective is to keep you out of prison, don't try to do your best. Do your best. Okay. Good luck with now. Thank you. You know, I think Sam has a point. At the custody hearing, can we just line everybody up to say what a terrible personnel is? <laughs> well, I'm always up for a good mudslinging. But in your case, that would be the surest way to lose. Nell killed her first fiance. Then she tried to kill me, and when that didn't work, she left me for dead in a car that was rigged to explode. I'm aware of and all And she of knew that. what she was doing, just like she knew what she was doing when she when she messed with my mom, gave Brad our baby, assaulted Willow. There, there was no PTSD. There was no there was no blackouts. Nell is as cold and as calculated as they come. You're not getting an argument from me. Okay, then in what in what universe would a, a judge give her a kid? The ways of the legal universe are very strange. But the fact of the matter is, children used to be property of people, and in many cases, legally, they still are. Each biological parent starts with a 50% interest in the child, and it's nigh on impossible to strip either parent of that interest. So the bad news is, it's gonna be tough to take Wiley away from Nell. But the good news is, it's gonna be really difficult for Nell to take Wiley away from you.